Am I what? You're in school. Oh, okay. Um, my name is Alessandra Orlandini, and I'm a senior. I'm Rebecca Sponsel, and I'm a fifth year. I'm Laura Schroeder, and I'm a senior. Um, and I'm Liz Kina, and I'm also a fifth year. Coach Labriccia, if you could start us off with an opening statement about tonight's game. Sure. Um, we felt good about uh, giving them hell, at least for one set. And, uh, and uh, you know, true to form, uh, they're a good team, very good team, and they did a nice job uh, adjusting and, and getting back to the things they've been successful at. Uh, so I'm proud of the effort and how we approach the match and, and our energy and fighting spirit. Um, and uh, they were the better team tonight. Uh, blocking, for sure. Uh, you know, their, their main attackers, it's pretty obvious who they are. Uh, and, and we know their tendencies, uh, having seen them all year. So, um, you know, we camped on those things, and, and uh, we did a nice job anticipating what they were going to do, and our players were aggressive, um, you know, and, and I think it put them, you know, off kilter a little bit. Uh, we were aggressive serving, and maybe not as aggressive, or they just passed better as the match wore on, and then uh, they kind of flipped the tables, and, and they were more aggressive serving and got us a few more times as the match wore on. But, uh, but for sure, blocking was, was a big difference, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was one of the key words that we used was refocus, just kind of reset. Um, let's just stay aggressive, keep up the energy, because we had a lot of energy going in um, to that first set. And I think that helped, and the crowd helped. And um, so I think the main thing was just to, to keep going, to keep staying aggressive. That's what I kept telling the girls. And, yeah, there's a there's a little bit like locker room and you know being in the same or similar kind of situation and um, you know same gym like we played Western New Mexico first round two or three years ago um, so yeah there was definitely memories brought up um, but uh, at the time I don't know if we were really building off of that but it def definitely did help us in the very beginning like when we were first getting ready for the game. Um, I think definitely like Coach said they're serving got picked up and we got a little passive on our serve receive um we maybe got a little passive also on our serving so we strayed away from what we were doing well in the first set and just kind of strayed away from it in the next three uh yeah uh diamond's a really good athlete um and it seems like she she was on uh today tonight and uh did a nice job uh maybe her her best swings were the the most um out of system kind of swings, the setter's setting it with one hand and Diamond comes out of nowhere and pounds it. Um, you know, she, she made some really athletic plays for us and for sure she's a presence at the net. Um, and, and I think it's been a, a process all season and uh, I think she's been more productive as the season's gone along and she's gotten back in the swing of things. Um, certainly it's, it, that helped our cause and, and trying to get as much as we could out of our group. Yeah. And then uh, also I, uh, to say a little bit about the four seniors. So uh, Liz actually played four years of basketball at North Dakota State and kind of on a, a, a chance kind of thing. Uh, she, she joined our team uh, this summer and uh, she had played uh, volleyball in high school. Um, and uh, the things that she's given us are her energy and her her uh, leadership, not, not being a captain, but had been a captain with her uh, basketball career. Uh, she gave a lot of uh, support to our, to our leaders as well as uh, leading from, from her spot. And, uh, and she, uh, uh, against Western New Mexico in the second set, she came in and, and literally turned the match around for us with her energy and blocking. Uh, but, but I wanted to make sure that, that uh, Liz Liz gets the call, you know, and uh, you really helped us out. Uh, Laura Schroeder hasn't played basically for two years because of different uh, variety of injuries, so so she's like the rehab queen now. <laughs> and uh, but Laura, Laura is one of those seniors that uh, players and teammates that does so many little things that that you don't notice and you hear about kind of indirectly or after the fact. And uh, but she's for sure been a big part of of our group and our team and she's part of the California house <laughs> um, but 
a really tough spot for any injured athlete, but for for two years in a row. But uh, but Laura, we know that you do so many subtle things that uh, that add up, and and you really make a, a significant difference. And then uh, Al Al's uh, hoping for an appeal, <laughs> but. Uh, but if it is your senior year, Al, you've been such a great leader and competitor. You know, uh, it's been so so great to have you on the team and and to have your fire. You know, uh, that's for sure. So she's uh, Italian and and she <laughs> she gives us that spirit and life. And and Becca's been uh, with us. She started off as like a student manager, walk on kind of position, and became uh, you know one of our captains and. And a, and a key player, um, and I would say, you know, especially with uh, with Al and Becca, uh, so so many of our teammates talk about what you guys do all the time, like in drills or or in the passing lanes or encouraging people on the floor. So, um, you know, it's as a coach, it's so good to have that kind of support on the floor that that we know that you guys are getting uh, that kind of. Uh, uh, I, I guess you're both leaders and teammates, you know, and, and you're a big part of uh, why we've been successful as we have. So thank you, all four of you. <laughs>